Hey, how's it going everyone? I hope that you're all having an amazing day. This video is going to be relatively short information wise, but it's going to be kind of extended because a lot actually happened within the hour that I was recording this. But in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make over 900,000 gold per hour killing bots in old school RuneScape. The only requirements that you're going to need in order to do this method are 85 magic and whatever prayer level it is for protect from range. These bots are absolutely brain dead that we're gonna be killing today. So be sure to go farm them so we can get them out of the wilderness hopefully if this video helps you out at all then help me out by hitting that like button but let's go ahead and cut this plug and get right into it so I've actually gone over this method before in a previous video but because of the new loot key update I decided to hunt down some more of these bots to see if the loot keys made any more gold per hour than the last time I hunted them I'm gonna save that answer for the end but I do want to point out that these loot keys kind of saved my butt in this hour you guys are gonna see I'll be sure to go over that entire dying situation turned into revenge on a possible criminal bot leader. I don't know. The whole situation was super strange. It got weird quick and it took more turns honestly than I can even understand, but I'll go over that soon. But first, what I want to do is breeze over the requirements for this method as well as my method of doing it. And I say breeze over this because these bots are so bad that this can be done in so many ways. You can splash your teleblock like five times before they teleport away, and you can even end up killing them without teleblock if your RNG on three to five hits is good enough to finish them off. That being said though, the two things that I would consider requirements are 85 mage for teleblock and a high enough prayer level for protect from range. If you have these two stats, you could still easily take out these bots by using mage only. They don't protect from any um, combat style specifically. But what I used this hour and what I use normally when I do this is a dragon crossbow with enchanted rune dragonstone bolts. You're going to need just a couple pieces of god equipment to protect you from the aggro monsters being a piece of armadale and a piece of zamorak. You should be good with just those two. Also a glory, as many of those charged as you can get, and some rings of dueling as well. You might actually not need the ring of dueling. I think they actually put a loot chest inside of Edgeville. I could be wrong. I don't know. What I was doing was teleporting to the Ferex Enclave. Uh, so if you don't need to teleport to the Ferex Enclave, don't bring a dueling. But what you will need a burning amulet and some runes for teleblock and whichever way specific you're gonna kill the bot and it it is literally as easy as that these bots are on almost every other world it's actually absurd the botting problem that runescape has i'm not even going to get into that but these bots are on every single world and whoever programmed them is brain dead as brain dead can be because they don't teleport you can attack them five times i mean i've splashed five times i i teleport blocked one the reason I died in this video is because I was trying to get a clip of me teleport blocking one and then running back to the bank and then coming back because what these dumb bots will do is they'll just sit there and try and teleport for the entire five minutes. They won't log out. They won't do nothing. You can go bank and come back if you need to. And I was, I was at the end of an inventory just trying to get a teleport block off on we'll, we'll 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 get into that right now actually so here is the clip of here is the clip of it happening so like i said i hopped to this world and thought i turned my prayer on uh but apparently didn't and you'll see i cast a teleport block on this guy and he basically just one shots me because i was at 20 health i don't i don't know what i was thinking i was uh, desperate but then you see he teleports and i was like oh man I might be able to run back and get my stuff because I was worried that the bot would be programmed to pick up loot above a specific amount. So I was like, he's just going to walk away with everything. <laughs> so, but he teleported. So I was like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run up here. I'm going to go get my stuff. I'm going to run back. Hopefully the bot's not back because they will run back to this place. These bots are, are programmed in a loop. They're not programmed to stop the loop at any specific point in time. Honestly, you can... 
uh, you can kill these bots in a loop. Like, so I can kill 15 bots on 15 different worlds and then start back at world 1 and then cycle back through the 15 bots if I wanted. So I teleport out and this is where it starts to get weird. Focus in on this guy who teleports in. And I want to preface this uh, by pointing out his pathing. Pay close attention to the pathing that this guy takes because it just happens to be the same exact route that I've seen these bots take and it's it's I don't know why they take this route maybe to get out of a multi-combat zone and then get I, I don't know I don't know why they take that route it's, it's a roundabout way but watch all this play out so he teleports in and then you'll see I right clicked him because I was like what the heck is that he looks like he's in gear to go in the cave but then he disappeared so I'm like okay and, and he ran off towards the direction that the bot came in. So I was like, whatever, right? No big deal. And I moved up north. Uh, I was like, apparently he's not coming into this cave. The bots run up and around those trees and then circle in through this, through like the uh, west side of that cave. I don't know why they do it, but they circle around that side every time. So here I am still just hoping that I uh, get to my stuff before the bot comes back or or whatever you know so i i managed to make it but i'm not wearing any god armor so i'm getting attacked right here right so i kind of start to panic and i luckily pick up my bolts and i pick up the crossbow oops i just tapped my mic and i pick up my crossbow because i was like and then here, here you see this guy's coming in this guy's coming in so i'm like oh oh he just circled around he's coming in what the heck's going on right so I go grab my crossbow because I see this guy coming in and I'm, I'm concerned about that and I want to obviously get the most expensive item on the ground. And he skulls on me. This is where it gets weird. He skulls on me. And I don't know what's happening at this point in time. I'm very confused. I just, I leave again because I'm, I'm getting multi-tagged by all of them. Uh, and I was just going to bail, right? I was just going to leave. But this guy's in robes attacking me with a, a short bow and he's skulled up. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back in here and see what's up. And so here we go. This is this is where me the engagement with him and I starts. And this whole engagement's weird as well because this honestly dragged out for so long I couldn't KO him. I wasn't killing him. Uh, he was almost acting super body or or possibly like somebody who doesn't quite know um, the game. I want to say like maybe possibly a Venezuelan farmer who's running running this uh, setup here. And this might be like the ring, the ringleader or something of the uh, specific bot farm. I, I don't know, but he's he's can't. Or I mean, he's he's got plenty of food, eating eating to full. You know, this this match is lasting forever. Then he accidentally tags both of these things, and so I'm I'm sitting here in my head, and I'm like, this guy needs to teleport. I'm hitting zeros. He's getting double teamed. I'm like, teleport, guy, get out of here. Teleport. Does he not have a teleport? Boom. We get the kill. We managed to secure all of our loot back. Plus, I'll oh, fast forward. I don't know. I don't know what the loot was at the moment because I'm trying to narrate over this, like I said. But we ended up getting all of our loot back. Plus, whatever that guy had, we did lose five keys. We did lose the five keys worth of of stuff. I don't know if that like stuff just disappears on the ground or or what happens to it if the person who kills me doesn't have the keys enabled like does all the stuff pop up on the ground because that bot teleported anyway so it wouldn't have picked up the adamant bars uh, is what i'm thinking but that whole situation was so strange and managed to work out for my uh, better and here we are looking at the loot which was four hundred and twenty one thousand <laughs> i want to i want to ask you guys do you see anything weird about this setup he has my runes those are my runes that he picked up a magic short bow he brought a brew sharks a blue cape what's he doing out here with a blue cape he's got the full vestment set on in the ceredome and koi those i want to point out i don't know if i right click them in in the clip i'm talking while the clip's paused and i'm looking at the loot screen those are adamant arrows. <laughs> so this guy was trying to attack me with adamant arrows. Oh, and you know what I just noticed right now? You know what I just picked up on? His glory is uncharged. This guy came out here with an uncharged glory. It looks like he didn't have a teleport. Why didn't he try to run though, you know? 
It was so weird. I must right click the arrows, right? I right click like everything else. Oh, adamant arrows. I just hovered over them. Adamant arrows. An energy potion. I thought that was a Sanfu serum. That was an energy potion. Oh, and he's got 117 coins, which is another weird thing about these bots, right? Since, we're, since I'm on the ramble zone. These bots are always carrying 120 gold. Why? What? are they doing with 120 gold and that guy had 117 gold so just i don't understand right S super weird thankfully that all worked out though and honestly it didn't kill it didn't take off any time of the hour really maybe honestly only like five or ten minutes uh, of of uh what we could have gotten the hour which is why i'm saying that you guys could definitely make over nine hundred thousand per hour if you're doing this more efficiently than than dying to a bot so i started off the hour with 103 keys being claimed so far with a total being worth a total of 5.18 million gp so nearly 5.2 million gp I'm just bringing this up because at the end of the hour killing these bots, I was sitting at a nice, let me fast forward here. I got none of this live, which is unfortunate. Uh, but at the end of the hour, I was sitting at 129 keys being worth a total of 6.9 million GP, meaning that I had gotten, uh, what, 26? keys in the hour and hold on let me double check what was the price to be in there yeah so i got 5.2 to 6.9 so i got uh you know 1.7 mil in 26 keys which is just about right it's around 40 to 60k per key it was i'm telling you guys piece of cake this bot farm is running constantly you got to get out there like right now and go farm it and you can see here after selling everything off at the end of the hour we're looking at a total of one point three nine mil so i'm just gonna round up call it 1.4 mil in just total profit so i'm just gonna knock off 500,000 gold in in supplies which there's no way it was 500,000 gold in supplies and, and call it that and say you know you guys should be looking at an easy 900,000 plus per hour here even without the loot keys let me look up that video right now i forget what i was i forget I forget what I made last time I tested this. The last time I tested this was without the loopies. Apparently in the last video, I didn't do it by the hour. It was a very short video. I thought I did it by the hour. Uh, but in the last video, you know, I was spending, you know, probably 30 or 40 minutes out there per inventory and getting 400,000. So I don't know. It really just depends on your RNG with the bots. It takes no time at all to get five keys and being worth 40 to 60,000 per key, we're looking at 200,000 per inventory. So technically per inventory, uh, I was getting less with the keys. And honestly, you know, I, I, w I was having to bank a lot more. So this might be a method that might be worth not using the keys because a lot of what they drop is stackable uh, aside from the rune daggers and aviancy heads really the rest of it is stackable the adamant bolts that you get from them the broad bolts the adamant bars those are all stackable items i don't know let me know what you guys think down in the comments also let me know if you're going to be getting on this bot farm asap that's what you need to do Everybody collectively who sees this video has got to go take out some of these bots so we can get rid of them. Hopefully they don't uh, actually fix their codings. Let's just, so, uh, you know, let's just get rid of them or continue to profit off of them. I don't know. That's all the information I have in this video, though. If you made it this far, be sure to comment down below, like made it or something. I'll give you uh, an extra shout out in the comments. You definitely deserve it. But other than that, I hope you all have an amazing day. I'm out.